evening everybody and welcome to tonight's stream hopefully uh this is working uh and i can hear my audio i'll just hang on a few seconds guys before i can hear my lovely angelic voice through the stream <clears throat> just hold a second i can see the cutscene are we there yet do Are we there? Hello, hello. Just, just hang on, guys. Are we there? Hello. Yes, fantastic, Lynn, gentlemen. Hello, and welcome to this Slytherin stream of Field of Glory 2, The Rise of Persia. Uh, my name is Richard York, uh, and I will be giving you, uh, hopefully, a very entertaining two hour stream of blood, guts, and everything in between. Let's. Let's see what shenanigans I will uh, encounter this evening. Uh, it's very cold here in England. Hopefully we'll warm our bones with the sands of Persia. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's have a hello, Pixel. Hello, Darkman. Uh, hello, um, Oak and Shield. How are you this wonderful evening? Hopefully tonight. Um, Pixel, it was the uh, advert, advert for the... Um, for the watch call it uh, the, the stream okay so as i am the king of random battles and custom battles uh, we are going to um choose um choose um two factions to face each other and i will hopefully give uh, my loyal viewers um Oh, sorry, I've clicked the wrong one, I think. And uh, my, my royal viewers, um, the... Actually, I'll click the wrong one there again. Oh, this has been so long since I streamed this. Yeah, Twitch Twitch, Twitch ads are a little bit annoying. Uh, but that's just uh, the way it is. So, like I said, guys, I'll give you the choice of the two factions. I've clicked custom for some reason, uh, which I shouldn't have clicked. Um, but there we go again. Let's see. Hopefully, we have no technical difficulties this evening. As he says, a non-responding happened on his Field of Clue Glory 2 game. Uh, I need to go back. <laughs> uh, quick battles. Rise of Persia. Hello, Van Bishop. How are you this wonderful evening? Wherever you come from. All right. So let's see. Oh, I'm 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 thinking Assyrians tonight, guys. I'm 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 thinking Assyrians. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we what shall the first fight be tonight? Who would you like me to play? Um, I can fight the Pharaoh again if you like, Pixel. That is no issue with me. Um, so I can. Oh, how, how uh, do we? Who who actually fights the uh, he the? So Egyptian. We can, I could be fighting Egyptian. Uh, who would you like me to be, guys? <laughs> Okay, we've got an enemy side as the Egyptian forces. Uh, I just need um, I need you guys to choose me a faction to play. Um, you get to pick. Or otherwise, if no one votes, I will just pick and get it over and done with. I, I'm thinking. I don't know. I, I, I like quite. I quite like Hebrew, to be honest with you. Um, played a lot of them. Played a lot of um, Elamite um, and Babylonian. Um, <clears throat> oh. I'm 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 tempted, tempting with Lydian to be honest with you. Kashite, you you you've chose it. Um, oh. So today we are going to play the uh, Kashite uh, versus the Egyptian for our first custom battle. No, I've clicked it now, Pixel. It's it's been done. So guys, if you've not checked out the DLC yet, please check out the Rise of Persia DLC. It, it, it's just absolutely amazing. I've played so much of this game uh, in the last few months it's been out. It has been uh, fantastic. Uh, and the campaigns for these. Babylonian Next, uh, Munin, we'll do that. We'll do Babylonian Next. Uh, as you've chose that, I will be open. So here we are, the Kushite uh, Egyptian versus the Egyptians. This is going to be a interesting battle. So let's see our forces. Um, it doesn't matter who spills the blood. It doesn't matter. So looking to the left, to the right, uh, we have an uh, Egyptian javelinman, which will be spaced out uh, in the front centre. And we have um, Egyptian art light archers. We've got some Numidian cavalry. 
Uh, we've got some more New Eden cavalry with an officer inside. We've got lots and lots and lots of archers, plus some Egyptian irregular foot in the centre, uh, followed by two Egyptian uh, heavy style carrier, ca chariots uh, with two Numidian and cavalry to the right. So we're going to go uber, uber side. We've got to be careful of the terrain though, so have a quick look at the terrain. Um, so on my right side we have uh, hills uh, followed by two forests. Uh, we've got a stream uh, running through the centre. Also we've got a um, just a normal hill to the left. Um, and also a kind of a a little round mountain there, which is all a difficult uh, slope. Also on their side, they've got enclosed obstacles uh, with rough ground to the right and the left. So let's. Um, so I think the plan will be. I don't know what the plan is. I think I am going to do something a little bit unorthodox. I'm going to put a cavalry uh, cavalry in the centre. Uh, I'm going to put my free chariots and my uh, things in the centre, uh, just because it's got the most clear ground. And let's see how this plays out. Uh, the irregular foot will be sp spread to the left and the right flanks. So we're going to put the, this cavalry centre. Uh, we're going to put uh, like uh, infantry to the right and left, and we're going to see how that goes down. Okay, so looking at the Egyptian forces, uh, we have... Um, Two chariots on the left, and we have oh no, uh, we have hoplites in the center, hoplites, uh, and a lot of irregular foot, uh, a lot of irregular foot in their front Egyptian line. Plus, in the second line, we have a horde uh, of Egyptian spearmen ready to uh, open up against us. So, let's go for the advance. Um, we have to outshoot them. We have the archers, I think we're going to advance to this position here. Uh, as you can see, this hill, and we're going to stop there. I think so. Let everybody move up. We're going to have a little bit of a gun, f uh, a little bit of fight with their light troops on that left, on that centre point. So let's uh, let's move these up here. How far is their range? So the range is that river. I just got to remember that. So I'm just moving these guys into a position there, and everybody else, I think, may just move up to that point. Nope, no, 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 no. We we messed that one up, didn't we? Uh, I've got a turn or two to uh, rejig that line. These guys got that side. These guys got that side. Uh, we've got a turn. Oh, we can turn everybody to the centre, can't we? Brilliant. Okay, uh, can I shoot anybody here? Unfortunately, yes we can. Okay, that's turn. That was my bad, that was. Silly. Okay, the initial uh, round here. Uh, yes, Pixar, I see them hoplites. They're going down like a sack of potatoes. I am actually going to hammer them too. Wow. There's not one, there's two, and there's three of them. Also, that one with the general inside is a nasty person. Uh, Alright, we're going to shoot these, these guys in the centre. Uh, causing an early disruption there. Alright, going to hammer at this one unit. I need to get them uh, javelin men down onto them hoplite units. Got to be careful of them archer units there. They are really going to hit me hard. And we're just going to pick away. So let's just form up that way. These guys are going to form to this side. We can put some defence fire onto that little centre there. Oh, might as well try a volley. Move some of this new medium cavalry to the left. Uh, being careful of this rough ground because uh, it is disordering me. I will move out of that. So, unfortunately, the Egyptians have not moved their centre line, uh, but we shall wait uh, till they push forwards. Okay, so it's still a light. Uh, 28 mil pixel. 28 mil. I live and die by 28 mil. I would go smaller. Um, if I had the opponents to play. Uh, 
I'm painting some 28 mil um, uh, couts at the moment for Hell Caesar. I've got like 50 of them to sit and paint. So auto breaking this center unit uh, means we can hopefully now send these uh, javelin men to do the job of uh, killing uh, their their hoplite units and lessening their impact when come on. So all right, we might have to push it. We might have to push up here. We might have to push up. Uh, the fact is they are not moving their line. They are now going to turn and shoot me with their uh, archer units. If you follow me on Twitter Pixel, I'll put some pictures up there. Also, if you do Instagram, I'll let you know my Instagram account. Okay, the archers are not moving, so I think I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to have to poke the bear in respect to that. Uh, yes, that's very true, Pixel. Uh, but they st <laughs> there's a lot to paint. Rank and file, it's not fun. Okay, I think we're going to have to advance. We might advance the centre a little bit. Um, let's get this Nubidian Cavalry unit through. Firing away. Right, we're going to push straight forward here. All right, left my left flank staying stationary for the moment. Um, I don't feel I have to move it. I mean, I could reposition these. Uh, um, that's going to be it. Let the light troops uh, fight it out in the centre. And uh, their Nomad Light Archer just try to engage my right flank. Uh, I'm not particularly scared of them. All right, let's send them Javelin men up uh, or, or something up to here to start shooting these Hopperlite units. All right, you come at me straight away. I'm just going to... I am going to hit you very... Uh, I'll try and save the Javelins. Oh, well, we'll, we'll shoot these guys. And an auto break, bringing it to a very small, respectable 4% victory. 4% uh, is nothing in this game. I'm wasting so much ammo. <laughs> I'm wasting so much ammo. Alright, get away. Get out of my line. Uh, and that's turn. So, a quite a boring um, start to this battle. Uh, and the bear has been poked. The Egyptian forces now ready to engage me on the centre line. Uh, oh, my lights got caught. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Mr. Tom. Goodbye. So long and thank you for all the fish. <laughs> so unfortunately, the lights caught and were soon massacred by the hoplite infantry on that centre. A horrible death. A horrible death. All right, we're, we're, we're feeling confident. We can outshoot them. We've got about two turns, maybe three turns of shooting at a max. Okay, so we're the hoplites, so the hoplites. <laughs> yeah, right, I want to engage. Well, we're going to charge one of these units off to the right side. I'm hoping I can pull some of these um, uh, irregular infantry to the left or to the right. Uh, these lights here, the chariots have stayed still. Uh, we're going to move this guy out. I'm going to pull him to the uh, completely to the right side uh, to cause some hassle. Oh, <laughs> we're so dead there. It may cause some cohesion tests for my other lights. Uh, yes, it has, and a disruption has uh, been pressed across there. One of their light units on the right side has now been rallied. Uh, now I am pulling their units to the right. Here come their hoplites in the open. I need to get them disrupted. Uh, with these hoplite units, they are just ridiculous. Hopefully I can get a disruption on them. And now the chariots on the left 
um, bringing themselves into the battle line. Good evening. How are you this wonderful cold evening? Okay, we're going to be shooting the Hopalite unit, hopefully. All right, Hoplites, eat my archers. All right, if we can shoot everything at them, I would like that. But unfortunately, that cavalry's blocking. I could have moved that cavalry out of the way first, couldn't I? But I'm a chump, <laughs> and I didn't. All right, uh, Hoplites, how do you like archer shots? I am wary of that uh, flank, so I'm going to turn these around to come and sit there. Um, well, we'll move here. We'll just uh, pop some shots at them here. Mm -hmm. Well, we will just turn around and fire at the closest enemy. Uh, these guys will come this side. We could maybe chase them off. Okay. That, I feel, is turn. Um, let's see what happens. So here comes the regular foot moving on. The Hoplites now pushed ahead. Um, the unit is slightly displete, uh, depleted. Uh, but with that general in that unit, <laughs> it's not going to be great. And the light's unfortunately caught again. And uh, knocking that down to a 1% uh, defeat. 1% is nothing, to be honest with you. My cavalry on the right fleeing away from the uh, Egyptian irregular foot. Got to be careful of the here. I've left myself a weak spot. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, I didn't fill that spot in with this uh, thing. So we're going to probably move this Nubidian foot up to tackle this Egyptian arch unit. Um, their chariots now formed up, ready to push that left flank and put some more pressure on that side. Come on, is there a rally? Is there a rally for me? Hannah, rally for me, bringing the uh, Egyptian things back to normal. And let's shoot uh, the Hopalite unit. I want to shoot that one to death. Two percent. <laughs> That's a laugh. All right, let's form these to the left. Mm hmm. What would the charge be there? Actually, not bad. I'd be tempted to do to do that charge. All right, now, ooh, now the chariots have moved up. I don't feel so confident trying to charge down the hill. Uh, and disrupting them, brilliant. Oh, that was so close. Let's chase these off the board. And uh, they're off. Ha, ha, ha. Get out of town. Uh, we'll turn these to the right and then we'll come around that side. So that is turn. Uh, for better or for worse. So guys, am I playing well tonight? Am I playing well? Oh! <laughs> he says, no, I'm not playing well. I'm glad I moved that uh, irregular foot unit there. And they have charged the chariots. And they lost. And they lost, giving me one little bit of respite. That general unit has been depleted, so I'm not I'm not as worried yet. The Egyptian spearmen now uh, from the second line uh, have pushed forward uh, to um, literally threaten that flank now. And now the uh, light javelins to the left now pick, trying to pick me off. Uh, this combat is an indecisive and a rally, two rallies. Two rallies. All right, we're definitely going to charge here. Uh, what would the charge be? Oh, 4%. Well, we are going to shoot you. And we are going to shoot you. All 
Oh, come on. I want a disruption. <laughs> that ain't going to go well. What's the charge here? 18. We're going to do that. Ow. We'll charge him in the flank then. Gee, that was absolutely bad. All right, turning the Median Cavalry around. Uh, two come and uh, hopefully uh, support that flank. <laughs> We're in some trouble here, guys. Let's break their combat effectiveness. Okay, we're going to push the javelinman back down. Uh, hopefully, throw some. Uh, looking for a break. Unfortunately, not there. And let's see if the chariots can do anything brilliant. No, they can't. Oh, but fantastically causing a disruption. <laughs> <laughs> Pixel, I don't know what flank to be worried about. I just caused two disruptions on the post hoplite units. Uh, I'm kind of happy with that. And another disruption on the irregular foot. Oh, you absolute. How did you lose? Oh, that's how you lost 18%. <laughs> um, hmm, yes, I would like you to flee, please. Fortune favours the brave pixel. Um, I'm going to charge these off the board. That may sound stupid. I'm going to push these to the left uh, to see if I can pull any of these chariots to the left to uh, start to worry about him. But that is my turn, regardless of that. Um, everybody rallied. Everybody rallied. But not saying well, I'm going to break this turn. I think one or two units may break. <laughs> Get out of it, Egyptian foot. It was really lucky. Really lucky, the disruptions there. I think... Uh, there goes the light troops causing any disruption on my line. Nope, because they're lights. I think without them two disruptions... Um, <laughs> them two disruptions on the centre... Uh, I would have lost that horrendously. So, unfortunately, there is a hoplite unit to the left side. Um, let's see if we've pulled any of these units. Yes, we pulled one chariot to the left. Um, if this was a human player, I think he would have probably reacted a lot differently to that. Um, unfortunately, I've lost really badly on this right. Holding firm, though. Indecisive. Disruption. Hello, Grainwald. How are you this wonderful evening? Uh, the Pharaoh has brought his best to this battlefield. All right, let's get out, let's get out of dodge. What's the charge? 72! Charge! For the Pharaoh. For the Pharaoh. The chariots. Unleash the chariots. <laughs> and we're not charging that one uh, unit there. Oh, down the road. Here come the archers with the pokey sticks. Oh, 11. Oh, we're going for that. We're going for it. Everybody in. Okay. Do, who do we shoot up? I think we shoot the chariot up a little bit here. Okay, gents. Firing away. Looking for some disruption on their line. Uh, let's see if I run away. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes, brilliant. And we're going to throw some speed, uh, throw some javelins. Oh, you absolute monkey! They're irreg how how did they break off? Okay, we're going to pull these round to that flank. Uh, we are going to charge in here. They need this help. But they cause no disruption on them. Oh, 23%. Are they off? Unfortunately, I think here is going to be the gap. What might happen? Uh, these guys may run. I'll do that combat last. 
Um, which is that one here. Oh, Archer's losing horrendously. Oh, they're in a bit of trouble here. I don't like these two combats. So let's see the bad combat here. Indecisive. And... Indecisive. Um, oh, let's, uh, let's fret in their flank and see what they do. What would the charge be here? 17%. Actually, not bad. Uh, 45 on the cavalry, but I will get flanked to high heaven. If I move here... No, 1611. Should we do that? I think we're doing that. I thought we lost. Oh, unfortunately. I feel that was a fail on that left side. I feel that could have went a little bit better. And end of turn here. And rallies for the Egyptians. And moving back here on this left side. Charges on the chariot. The chariot is superior. The chariot is superior. So the chariot should hopefully stick there. Yeah, rough on impact. Uh, nothing I could do there apart from take that on the chin. Uh, there's a few units that are going to break this turn. Holding firm. Brill. We've kited a few of their units away. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is where it happens. Are these guys breaking? Nope, indecisive. And the f I thought that was a break on the left. On the right side, sorry. And it was a break on the right. Is that an overcharge as well? That should be an overcharge. A rally for me, so not fragmented anymore. And the flank attack disrupting them and breaking them. Is that it's going to be an overcharge again? Two overcharges with that cavalry. Oh, fantastic. Oh, they're not close enough. Okay, we will power away here. They are fragmented. So two, uh, two, yeah, that was uh, actually really well. Uh, I'm not too sure about the other flank. Oh, yes. That could pull the cavalry to here. Come on, get the cavalry there. Disrupting the spearmen. So the right flank has done very well. Uh, what would the charge be here? Why can't we can't charge these because they're blocking that um, the beam blocked with the zone of control from these um, uh, infantry. Well, I think we're going to pull back. Pull back. What would the charge be here? Nine twenty. Well, let's shoot them. Oh, we're going to go for that. Auto breaking them. In the charge on the side. <laughs> the Pharaoh has uh, <laughs> just rode away that right flank. Uh, that that counter charge with the chariot plus the uh, Numidian cavalry on the right side, cracking them two units. Victory. Victory. Hopefully, it will. Co Lady Luck will come our way. But unfortunately, the left side uh, has a lot of Egyptian spearmen who are angry for revenge, <laughs> um, and I can't fill these. Uh, I, I don't have enough men to fill the holes anymore. And auto breaking the. Uh, auto breaking the. <laughs> auto breaking the uh, hoplites, and also the for a token, the. Uh, <laughs> Javelins um, that killed the commander. Oh, I do apologise, my phone. Oh, wow, what a, getting so excited about this. <laughs> the poor Egyptians. Okay, let's concentrate. Uh, let's tr uh, shoot the guys on the left. Uh, let's shoot the regular foot. Can we move anybody to the right, uh, left to actually hopefully shoot these up? Uh, and we are going to charge again. Okay, what would the charge be here? Absolutely diabolical. Okay.
Okay, let's uh, charge put it here, and then we'll ch hopefully mo uh, annoy these infantry next turn. Oh, that's like really bad. That's like really bad. Uh, so that's my turn, gentlemen uh, and ladies. Um, really well on that right side. Uh, the left side is about to. The pain train is about to dock. So let's see what happens in the next turn. But the chariot's doing very well on that centre. I was good to call the chariot cavalry centre. And here comes the uh, onslaught of Egyptian spearmen. Actually holding holding firm as well. <laughs> the Egyptian spearmen losing against the archers. Uh, but we're getting the flank charge there, which I think will break them. Well, they're certainly broken next turn. Now the Egyptian um, spearman on the left now turning to face the right. Um, the cavalry uh, willing to flee against the general on the chariot, uh, which is good. I've, I've, I've actually um, moved away. Uh, I've kited a lot of their units away. So I've got three units of cavalry on that left side running away. The pain train has docked on the left side. Um, but let's be a little bit annoying now. Come on, all I need is disruption. Yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, they're in some trouble. Okay, can we do anything? Oh, we can't move this chariot out of the way, unfortunately. Uh, I'll come back in a second and think, think what to do. Can we engage these? No. Can we? Do we have any decent engagement with these whatsoever? Actually, let's move these out of the way. Can these charge in? Yes, they can. Good. And then we'll turn and shoot uh, these Egyptian spearmen. Oh, I look forward to that um, slivering group. <laughs> I hope so. I will record that. <laughs> What's his um, alias? Or can, can't you tell that? <laughs> Exciting. Okay, uh, so the right is buttoned up really. I'm in a sticky situation with these two Egyptian spearmen. Uh, but of course we are going to fire away at everything down here. Hopefully getting a disruption or anything like that against them. Huzzah! Unfortunately I played that the wrong way. I should have um, shot with the cavalry uh, f uh, first. Hello! Welcome to the Photo Glory stream. And we are... Uh, the chariot is in such a bad location. I'm just going to turn. Well, pr pr uh, if you could private message at me, wink, wink, I, I will not mention anything. Or if you're not allowed to do that, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so right side is going well. Let's look at the left side. These guys are going to break. Um, so I'm going to move everybody away from them. Um, and then come back next turn. Okay, where is a good combat? Okay, these guys who are fragmented will run away. These are fragmented, so they can't particularly do anything. These are just going to stand still. Oh, uh, what's a good combat? Nope. Uh, yep, that's a good combat. Auto break. Come on, cause some disruption. <laughs> yes. That's my hill. Get off it now. So, there you go. Uh, fought the cavalry off. Remember, guys, sometimes, well, most of the time, f remember, fight the combats that you're going to win first. Uh, that can cause a chain uh, morale check. Pushing them off. Yes, it was. Ha! Now, let's play the poor. A fallback. All right, the general group. Oh, they're both get pushed back. And now the... Archers that are about to get mushed. Okay. So that is my turn done. Uh, I feel we did very well here. Uh, but we'll end it there. See what the computer player decides to do. 15% um, victory here. Like, like I said guys. I've played Field of Glory for a long time. <laughs> I am still a keen amateur in my opinion. The chariot fighting well there. 
uh, backed off, which makes my position a little, a little bit stronger. And the chariot on the left deciding to fight against the um, archers. <laughs> I can't believe I've managed to drag them units away on that left side. The right side going swimmingly. Okay, first of all, we are going to shoot this guy up in the face. Come on, disruption. 19. We're going for it. Oh, the impact. The impact again, but we are holding firm regardless of that. That would not be helpful to charge. Um, I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, we will shoot here. We'll shoot here again. Oh, I am just going to shoot. I ain't going to charge. Uh, we fragmented them, making that unit um, not very good this turn. Uh, this unit will now get a lot of archers shooting at them. I've got to say, my chariots are doing fantastic tonight. Normally, my chariots die horribly within like the first two turns. Okay, now we're outnumbered. Run away. <laughs> Um, we will turn to the left here to shoot this unit of cavalry. Uh, and causing a fragmentation. Brilliant, guys. Absolutely brilliant. I can feel them positive waves coming all the way from the internet to my computer. And the... Uh, is that going to be a, a cohesion test? It's too far away. It wasn't. It was a space and away. So now the ca uh, cavalry reigning terror over the Egyptian uh, spearmen. I would charge here. But I'm going to be in the arse end of nowhere. Oh, no, no, no. I would charge with this cavalry, but uh, I'm going to be out of position. I'm tempted to bring them up this way. I'm going to need help against this chariot. Uh, they are fragmented, and I'm not going to charge them. So there you go. Okay, now the bad combats. The combats that I do not feel I'm going to win. Oh, uh, please. Oh, indecisive, indecisive. We like indecisive. So the Kashites are doing very well, I've got to say. Doing very well. And there's the charge. Is that going to go well for me? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, disrupting the uh, Egyptian spearmen on the left flank. The chariot holding steadfast. I've got some plans there, guys. I've got some plans. And the... Irregular fort, uh, Egyptian spearmen charging in and getting disrupted. You see, them hills do help. Them hills do help. So, unfortunately, now I'm outnumbered and outgunned on the left, uh, back left force uh, between the uh, <laughs> one Numidian cavalry. Oh, they're so gone. No, they're not. They're not gone yet. Okay, so my plan here is here, gents. I'm going to fire at this unit, hopefully hopefully break it, causing a cohesion test for these, and they better fail. Come on, fail. Okay, we're going to charge. Overrun, overrun. That's the one. That's the money shot. Ha 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 Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, now let's now let's hopefully now charge these in the side and cut these to ribbons. Uh, I feel they don't need any more help, so I'm just going to push everybody to the left side. Uh, we are going to charge off this left. We're going to hopefully turn some of these units around. Oh, is he charging the rear? <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so we're doing very well on this left side. The issue is, guys, I'm going to charge here. They're going to break. Oh, no, they didn't break. So even though uh, they didn't break, uh, they're not threatened at all. Uh, so we're going to move our other chariot up. It's like wacky races. Okay, now we're going to charge. Uh, the, co the, co uh, the leadership won't drop because they're not fighting with cavalry. Okay, we're going to throw some javelins at these horsemen. And a break. 
fan does he do uh, these uh, archers now turn to the l right side uh, where the uh, most most of the uh, uh, Egyptian spearmen are now sitting down oh you know what why did I do that I should have fought that combat first <laughs> I fought that in completely the wrong order two pushbacks uh, and we're gonna run away like a little girl we need to, we're gonna get we don't want to get uh, two shot up here Actually, I don't understand why I'm not pushing these forward and firing javelins at people. Okay, we're going to turn around and fight them. Now, they're probably going to run off. So, there you go, guys. Top of this turn. Um, nine turns left. We are doing quite well against the Egyptians. Um, that right flank has completely... Inv I've enveloped them on that right flank. The left flank is getting annihilated. Um, but, uh, I've got to say, the cav uh, these brave brave archers have hold the uh, Egyptian line uh, for so many turns um, and we're hoping that uh, hoplite unit doesn't get in there because once that hoplite unit gets in there I'm in some trouble now the Egyptian spearmen turning towards the chariot horde they've got a break no they're on the hill they're on the hill they're fine they're fine top form tonight I've got to say and the charge oh unfortunately they take it as a disruption and they're off uh, giving the Egyptians some uh, needed um, percentage to hopefully uh, either try to contest this game come on break that Egyptian spearman on the right please and they're off again and we're gonna get some I love them chariots I love them chariots. And a rally. Ha! Them chariots. I g give them. Give them their dues. They have done really well. So we will fight this here. We'll drop a... Uh, make them drop to fragmented. And probably a break. And they're off. Back to Egypt. Uh, I am now going to form to the left side. Um, yeah, that's the best way to do it. We are going to turn and start picking them off as best as we can. Uh, we are out of range there, but of course we will move ahead and fire our light infantry. And we're going to shoot here. <laughs> These guys rallied, and they're going to run away. <laughs> These guys need to rally, so I'm going to run them away. Um, we are just going to sit there and shoot. Uh, even though it's going to be a really bad shot. Um, we're going to mosey on down here, throw some javelins at this ca um And we're just going to fire away. Unfortunately, these Numidian archers are in some problems here. Uh, these guys doing very well. I'll just mosey on down there. Uh, we will mosey on down to here. And we will charge here. Hopefully, we'll push to the left side somewhere. No, that wasn't what I wanted. Uh, these guys are disrupted. Uh, let's see if we can beat this uh, chariot down. Nope. Uh, how much health has it got? 108. Uh, we have more health and strength to actually destroy them. And 8 turns left. 34%. We're just a beast. Take them down. And a rally there for the Egyptian Spearman. Maybe too little too late. Two rallies. I think some of the lights have rallied from being disrupted. And there's the charge and break. Chain break of course. That poor unit of archers holding the line, and it fragments. That's a good, that's a good attack for me. Rear attack on the chariot. That was my mistake uh, with the push there. And the archers, uh, within good form, blocking the counter charge on the fragmented troops, uh, which I expected. Uh, the cavalry on the left now coming down. Back. Oh, we're so gonna go. Oh, and they rallied back up to being disrupted. Fantastic. And they rallied to being disrupted. Any more rallies? Okay, that's that's far off the hill. Uh, we do have low ammo, so there's not very much we can do about that apart from uh, just to shoot as many people as possible. 
issue is... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I could charge him in the rear, but unfortunately not. Uh, let's... Oh, a nice unit of uh, Spearman to that right. I think we're going to stay still, actually. I'm going to let them advance. Oh, sad to say. I would have liked to charge them. These guys are going to die. Uh, there's not very much I can do about that. All I can do is just uh, hopefully hold them for as long as possible. And let's see if I can get a lucky, a lucky win. We do get a lucky win. But it wasn't good enough. Uh, no, we're going to hold them there. Uh, no, the wrong combat. I fought the wrong combat again. Oh, jigs. I should have fought the against the fragmented troops. Uh, and to the next turn. 17% difference. Uh, still all to play for. The Egyptians are mounting up my... Uh, you know, increasing my casualties quite a lot. Um, there's the charge on the left. I'm probably going to break. And I do break, bringing the percentage down to 13. But we have a strong right, a strong right flank, which I feel we can really hurt them. Uh, depending on where the computer player wants to put his forces, uh, he may go to the left. He's actually split my army in two now, so he is divvying them up. We're fine. We're fine, guys. Come on, break the chariot. Yes! There goes the chariot and the general in one foul swoop. Brilliant. And more rallies. <laughs> rallies for the Egyptian. Uh, for me, sorry. Uh, but sad to say, um, these are in a real bad position. Okay, let's turn here and shoot. I would like to charge these. Thank you very much. That's it. Can I catch them? Oh, no. This is just so bad. I don't know what to do with these chariots now. Alright, moving on up. Firing away, sir. Thank you very much. These lights moving back through here. Going to fire some uh, spears at them. Uh, we'll turn around here and hit these uh, hopper lights again. Uh, these guys are going to come advance to here. Turn around and fight for the life. So unfortunately, um, we are low ammo now. And a disruption. Brilliant. That's going to hopefully uh, make that combat a bit easier. And we'll just slinger these guys. So there we go. Six turns left. It is definitely all to play for. The Egyptians are certainly um, throwing out all of their stops on this battle. We did very well in breaking that Spearman unit, uh, increasing the percentage. Oh, and they were caught. <laughs> they won. But sad to say, the Egyptians have moved the entire line up, um, blocking a counter charge from the chariot. I'm so surprised my chariots are still alive. Uh, every game I play, they die within turn one or two. They really do. And I don't think I have enough combat power to actually take that Armoured Hoplite unit out. <laughs> That's just too powerful. How did these guys didn't run away? Why didn't they run away? I need to disrupt these before I charge. And that is not going to happen anytime soon. Oops, so let's turn around and just throw some slingers at them. Oh no, they're going to get charged and they're going to run away. Uh, I will turn these around to shoot the hoplites. 
Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Don't you think I know? I'm, I'm bricking it against them. Um, ba ba ba. Um, that is just the worst, the worst percentage in mankind. Am I disrupted on there? One percent. Oh no! I'm gonna charge these. Oh, they're stuck. <laughs> we're at a disadvantage. Oh, we're in the enclosure. We're in the enclosure. Eleven fourteen. It's not worth it. Come on, I want to see some disruption, please. <laughs> oh, they're in some trouble. Um, let's turn these around to come back to the battlefield. And sad to say, this combat where I'm going to die horrendously. Um, yep, and that is turn. Five turns left. Can I survive the last five turns of this game? That is certainly the question. Please, no more rallies for them. And the second unit of... Oh, they decided to charge everybody. And a hold firms. And there's the charge and the break in the centre. Now the chariots are coming here to mess my day up a little bit. Oh, the lights on that left, right flank. And a rally up to... They should be enough to take these guys out. And a rally there as well. <laughs> the hopper lights. I can't do anything about them. I can't move out of the way in time. Um, hmm. Okay, so what's the story in Balamori for me? Um, yes, we are going to charge in. Uh, we need to turn these that side. These guys need to turn and shoot. All I want is disruption, please. Give me some disruption on their side. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot shoot because uh, that's locked. Yeah, we're shooting through combat. Is that going to be three percent? Not worth it. All right, have them two units in your face. Oh, these guys are in some trouble. I can't charge because the unit type. Uh, we'll run this side and just do some random shots in the rear. With nothing. Uh, we are currently clutching at straws. Hopefully... Going to get a pushback? No. Um, and the combat here against these lights. We should destroy them. Thank you. An auto break. Brill. But bringing that cavalry out of combat effectiveness for a turn or two. Um, hmm. And disruption on the left. The right flank is where it's going to be for the last showdown of the Kashite Empire. Oh, the chariot. Am I disrupted, actually? I didn't realise. Am I actually disrupted? No, I'm not disrupted in the stream. I thought I had some uh, loss. That's going to be a fragment and a pushback. Oh, they're in a lot of trouble. I just want some decent infantry. Okay, um, these Egyptian regular foot. And we're just going to move behind them and open some shots up again. 
Oh. Do we charge? 11%. I've got to do it. They're going to get around that flank and they're going to hurt me. Oh. <laughs> I really don't know what to do on this side. It'd be a miracle if I win there. We are just going to turn. I may lose this unit due to that getting fragmented. 3%. We're going to try it. Oh, wow. There's just, just, just no point. There's just no point. I'm running out of feasible options here. We need to uh, do some unit blockers. Hopefully not causing too much disruption. Uh, everybody holding firm. Uh, this unit is dead, I think. So, three turns left. I'm not entirely sure I can hold this long. The Egyptians have they do have a lot more men than me. And they did charge me on the light there. They did charge. Hopefully, I will stand here, and I do. Unfortunately, my fate is sealed on that left flank with the Hoplite unit against my Archer unit. Oh, no. A chariot falling back. And we do break the unit. Brilliant. Is that disruption? No. Come on. Have I been lucky with these rallies so far? And they keep fleeing. Bought the charge beyond that. Absolutely nothing due to being disrupted. And I'm on the... Now we're going to have to shoot. I'm firing away. 1%. The charge is awful. Bring the cavalry this side. Bring these guys right the way down. If they survive another turn, that's the question. 8%. That's nothing, really. These guys are just going to come back and shoot somebody important. This chariot. We're going to turn and shoot. Uh, okay, let's see if we can win some combats. Uh, not here, I don't think. 57 They've got to survive one turn, two turn. No, they're off. They're off. No. Okay, well. Chariot is going to break. So 14%, two turns. At least my cavalry is winning on that left side, and I may get just get away with this with the skin of my teeth. But them chariots are a lot of points. Um, and I think they will just break uh, and lose the game. <laughs> oh, they disrupted them. Uh, the chariot now actually threatening the rear of my uh, right flank. There goes that chariot on the north. <sighs> No, is that a break for me? Yeah, no, it's a break for them. <laughs> Bringing them to 54% defeat. A chariot rallying on the right. Come on, just need one unit to rally. And I've been laughing. Okay, let's first of all fight this combat. No, I expected them to break them. Is the charge good? The charge is good, sir. The charge is good. 
uh, and we are going to turn and shoot the archers. So just a last bit of luck there for the end of the game. Good, sir. The Egyptian gods have abandoned you. 9-17. Oh, that's a really bad charge. If I get a just... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're chucking them in anyway. We're chucking everything in. <laughs> uh, no, that was a bad idea. Uh, we're going to just turn and face this chariot so he doesn't charge me in the rear. Wow. Wow and wow. Nope, we can't shoot, so we come to this side instead. Can anyone see that? Um, there's, there's, I think there's a graphical error in the game um, where you can see these Egyptian archers continue to shoot. I do like that. I'm glad. I'm glad you can witness that. There's just literally that they just continue shooting at them. <laughs> I like that. Uh, one turn left. The hands. The warp battle is in the hands of the gods now. Am I worthy enough to win? I think so. Well, this just took an hour. Took an hour. And the uh, evade on the right flank, which was good. I've got some units that hopefully won't break. Come on. Oh, you absolute blithering monkey. Ah! Hold firm. It does have some stamina. Give me that. It, it, it's just literally I'm throwing everything at them. All right. These should break. No, they don't. Oh, I'm so going to auto break there. And they moved out of combat range. Well, if there is a next turn, we'll line some charges up. I don't want to fight these combats because I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. Well, we'll give him something to charge. Uh, we'll turn this these way. Fortunately, this guy will break. And he does, causing disruption probably. A break. <laughs> no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Three percent difference. Oh, no. <laughs> you better not. I will rage. Rage. Unfortunately, the cavalry unit, they're going to break. They're going to break. The cavalry are going to auto-break. Oh, yes, 6%. Is that it? Is that game? <laughs> yes, it is. And I got a sneaky rally there. Oh, they returned. <laughs> And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. G G G G G G. Good game, guys. Wow. Brilliant. What a fantastic victory there for the Kushite. Uh, that was the closest game um, at the end. That was close. Wow. So a massacre on both parts there. I'm not too sure if that was a victory. Uh, that was a heavy, heavy... I should know. <laughs> they lost 2,500 men. They lost 8,141 8, men. 61% of their army. So finally the Kashites uh, can reign supreme over the Egyptian Empire. Ooh, wow, that took all of my mental capacity. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have probably have 
time for one match. Uh, I think, I don't know who mentioned about Babylonians. Um, uh, somebody mentioned to play Babylonians or something along the thing. So we could play um, who could actually fight. Um, so we can have a Persian uh, Babylonian um, combo. GG, guys, that was absolutely epic. Uh, well, I, what I would like to play is probably Hebrew. Um, against some Babylonians. Does that sound good, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I'd like you to decide what we play for the last uh, probably game uh, on this stream tonight, Babylonians. Um, well, we've got a whole... Yeah, so Hebrew versus Babylonians. That sounds good to me, guys. Uh, so we're going to be... Um, ooh, we could probably knock it up to small if we're going to probably have just one more game. Um <laughs> Ugh. I should have played Assyrians. Maybe Assyrians had had the fall of the Assyrian Empire. Um, oh, 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 that was just absolutely a bash or two. I can't believe I actually got through that. Oh. So, but Hebrew versus the Babylonians. Uh, route the troops. So, um, or kill C and C. Is that commander? So, either the commander will die or... Um, or you get the points. So it's a little bit of a um, a different spin on this game at the moment in time. So either kill the commander or uh, kill the... Uh, get 60%. <laughs> Let's uh, be careful where we put our uh, big, big general. Is that the big general? It's the CNC. So this is the guy in the Hoplite unit. Um, so the Hoplite unit there is where the big guy, the big boss... Big bosses. <laughs> We're going to be very careful. So let's have a look at our forces. Uh, left to right. So we've got uh, an Assyrian style heavy chariot. Uh, we've got three of them on the left flank. One with a officer in there and a sub general. Yes, I know, Pixel. I've done it before where I've walked in. It could be a very short game. Uh, we have some Hebrew foot, the backbone of the um, Jewish army. Medium foot, average protected, light spear swordsman. Following down, we've got more of them. Uh, then we've got some armoured hoplites. Armoured hoplites. And then we've got some um, more Hebrew foot, followed by Hebrew foot. Hebrew foot. We've got no Gibeon, um, which is the more elite um, Hebrew foot. Uh, and then we've got lots of lots of Hebrew light archers. Uh, Panzer Pit, I think it's um, scheduled for tomorrow, I think it is. Uh, and then we so we're just going to space these guys out, um, and then we'll have a quick look at the terrain. It looks mighty, mighty rough, mighty rough there. Let's have a look. So looking at the force, looking at the terrain. Oh, diddy doos, diddy do. So looking at the uh, a train across the battlefield, we have a, a stream running through the centre uh, with some hills. Very large hills here, uh, which is going to change um, the battle composition here a lot. So depending what the Babylonians you've brought, which are probably a lot of massed archers in their things, uh, so I'm going to be at a massive disadvantage here. Um, yeah, we've got a massive uh, wall to climb. So depending if they push on forward or I push on forward, so I'm going to either have to stay back or charge. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to charge. I don't know how I'm going to get on that hill. So looking at the enemy forces so far, we have Assyrians, two Assyrian style heavy chariots, followed by two massed arch units I can see. I'm assuming the massed arch unit goes all the way to there. And then we have the formidable, let me repeat myself, the formidable expert Assyrian style cavalry, superior armoured bow, light spear sword, the bane, the bane of my existence on Rise of Persia. This unit is just absolutely uh, ridiculously good. Okay, let's send the scouting force. Where? Let's see if we can see any uh, massed archers or anything. <laughs> I don't know. Um, looking at here, there's a lot of rough terrain, left and right. Uh, but first of all, we're gonna we are gonna just all move up as fast as we can to the edge of this field. I feel we're at a disadvantage here. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. What would we do that for? Can we undo that? Oh, we messed that one up, didn't we? Uh, run the off ye. Um, 
I don't know if I could run the artists up behind. All right, let's see if they advance forward. What we can hope for is they push forward. Ha! Ha! You mock me, sir. You mock me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, now spotting the uh, entire Babylonian army. It's a lot of archers. It's a lot of archers. This reminds me of the Battle of Marathon. I think we're going to have to charge. Charge and... <sighs> I'm a bit of a coward, guys. I don't want to charge. <laughs> Do I have to charge? <laughs> Into the breach one more, once more, fellows. Into the breach. <laughs> we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to push right up here. I don't think they're gonna charge. Yeah, true. I guess they're not moving. They're not moving. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Oh, them sneaky Babylonians! Absolutely sneaky Babylonians. Uh, there's two squads, uh, two units of Assyrian. Um, okay, we need to get up there. You're right, we've claimed the hill. Pixel, you jest, son. You jest me. What What else does he do when he climbs the hill? <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, That's so funny. Okay, so we have nearly conquered the hill. Uh, <laughs> uh, how many turns ammo do they have? Is it two or three turns? So I could let them try and waste their ammo. It's unfortunately, um, there is a lot of rough ground. Um, and the only there's two units that are going to be affected by that rough ground. That is the hoplite unit plus the two the chariots. <laughs> Yeah, we're all affected by it. I think you're probably right. I feel I am going to have to, uh, you know, push. I mean, there is a vague amount of cover here. Yes, yeah, true, true. Archers can be good. Uh, an archer unit, a mass, uh, typically a massed archer unit on a hill, uh, can defend that hill. But you're right, I mean, this Assyrian-style cavalry is... I'm not looking forward to it. All right, so we are going to push on. We are outnumbered here, I think, as well. Okay, gents, to the hill. The computer player just, it just mocks me. It mocks me. Okay, we're... Okay, guys, let's retake this. Where is his general? There he is. There he is. And an, a name I cannot pronounce. And I will not embarrass myself or the stream for trying to pronounce that name. Uh, so he is a slap bang in the uh, Assyrian style medium infantry in the center. It's going to be a it's going to be a tough fight. And it's ended. And the Babylonians commit their forces to the field. We shall meet them in the center with sabers flashing high. I can see the Assyrian style infantry coming towards. Thank you very much for that. Oh, the, the cavalry. <laughs> the cavalry. Bandish Brute? I'm, I'm going to have to pronounce this. Uh, probably not very well. <laughs> oh, we've, we've, we've got this. We've, of course we've got this. We've just got to weather the shots. Weather the shots first. They did. They did. I, you know, I've learned a lot about history playing um, Field of Glory 2. I really have. Okay, we see the general. Uh, like, can can I? Do I run these away to get? They're gonna mess up my line. I'm gonna have to advance here. Uh, 
I've just played the Fall of Assyria campaign uh, and it was absolutely epic. All right, will they run away? Oh, 13%. Oh. Okay, we're going to we're going to try the charge. Even if we lose, we charge the chariot in. And they evade. Are you ready for this? You naughty people. We've got this hill. I am quite comfortable. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not do that. We've got this hill. General and general pick, so it is. That's the way it's going down. That is the way it's going to go down. Is he actually shooting me? Well, we're going to shoot you back. All right. So the Assyrian style cavalry wussing out on a combat. Risky. We're going to do it. It's the impact. It's the impact. That's the only thing I'm worried about. <laughs> I have played the Japanese one, Senguka. I can't pronounce it wrong as well. I do enjoy that. I've, I've not played it enough. But the other one I love playing at the moment is Pike and Shot. Pike and Shot campaigns. Oh, the archers. They are targeting that one unit of Hebrew Lightfoot. I'm gonna go in there. We're gonna we're gonna charge. We're gonna to have to. All right, Omen. We've got a bit of a stand up uh, against the um, chariots on the left. Okay, we're gonna shoot him again. Can I charge? Fifty percent. <laughs> Can I have a vote, ladies and gentlemen? Can I vote? Can I have a vote on to charge the general unit or not? Senku. Thank uh, my pronunciation. I need, I need a vote, guys, to charge the uh, armoured hoplites in that centre. Is that a good idea? It feels like a good idea. I feel the impact isn't as good, but the melee and that, that unit is not supported. Charge. I've got one vote to charge. Charge two charges. Anyone against the charge? <laughs> uh, what does the Slivering Stream say? Is if they're still there? <laughs> uh, I got two for charge. I feel the Slivering Stream person has gone. Uh, okay. I'm feeling a bit wussy. Okay. If my general dies. <laughs> I took a deep breath there, ladies and gents. And there we go. We'll charge the other sub general in at the same time. Oh, we are going to bug these guys out now. Uh, and we're going to push forward. Uh. And it is a full it is a full flank attack. Okay, Mr. Assyrian guys, you are gonna get shot up now. Thank you. We'll uh, push them straight in your face. And back there again. Yeah, the results were quite good. I mean, we're at 60, 70, but there is a percent we could lose the guy. Yeah, that's true, Pixel. You can't shoot in close combat. Uh, okay. That's it. We're just going for it. We are just going to go for it then, guys. Um, so that is turn. Let's see what uh, reaction the Babylonians have. Unfortunately, disrupting that unit, they hit hard the previous turn, which was going to happen. 
if if my general dies in some epic fashion now, I'll be severely disappointed. There goes the chariots and the Assyrian style cavalry advancing to the left. Oh, they've got camels. Uh, but also now the camels are disrupting. I always forget about the camels. They smell, don't they? Uh, and that upsets horses. Smell and they spit. Here come their chariots. Oh, I think I may have overextended the right flank a little bit. Uh, so the ca camels are disrupting their chariots. Uh, it's one hex disruption. Oh, we disrupted their command unit. Yeah, I can. I've over underestimated the cavalry on the right. Oh, we're going to have such a big break. All right, we're going to push here. Oh, Brill. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we're going to push this, look, this side. And then we're going to shoot there. Uh, we will do this combat first. And then this here. Engage here. God. Uh, these archers are having a really bad day of it now. Mm hmm. Alright. Ugh. Actually, <laughs> that irregular foot is in some trouble. I'm loving them numbers. Unfortunately, being disrupted has put them at a massive disadvantage on that centre flank. Okay, we're going to try the charge here. He sticks. He sticks. I'm proud of you. Then you get the other guy into it at the same time. Ha ha ha, a sub-general fell on the left. Fortunately, not their big general. Uh, we'll advance these up. Fire some shots over the heads of the uh, advancing army. Um, these lights will malinger in the rear. So, actually quite successful there for the Hebrew forces. Let's see what the next turn brings. Oh, and the disrupted troops have broken on the left. But I think the momentum of the centre will make up for that. The camel's charging in. Uh, disrupting everybody. It's disrupting all of that. And now the chariot on there. Oh, will the chariot survive? No, the chariot is going to be off. So the left and right flank may crumble. Oh, several breaks on that centre. Unfortunately, not disrupting the cavalry. Malinger in the rear. Everybody malingers in the rear. That's a true. That's a. That's a, 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 a something that everybody does. You malinger in the rear. <laughs> I'd say is is a tactical wording that is. Everybody can malinger in the rear. Oh, welcome to the pain train. Please don't die. Please don't die, King. Thank you. Uh, let's charge the cavalry, even though that is a big disadvantage for me. <laughs> oh, mighty. This is why I hate Assyrian cavalry. And we will come this way and shoot you in the face, please. Uh, this chariot has seen better days, um, but we'll see what we can do here. Uh, 
Uh, what's a good percentage? 81 for here. But superior cavalry. Oh, we'll just turn and face. Uh, no, 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 no. We're, are we going to sit like that, I think? Okay, let's fight a combat that we... Oh, actually, unfortunately, we don't have an advantage here. 12%. Uh, and the unfortunately, the chariot losing. Um, and the worst combat, I expect to break and run away. <laughs> that was a, a, a fun turn of events. The chariot broke the chariot, charged into the infantry, got disrupted and, and got a pushback. Uh, and let's end that turn there before I do anything else wrong. <laughs> So just 5% different between the two armies here. Sad to say they, with this unit uh, disappearing, um, has opened a flank charge here to the left uh, for them. Oh. It's a bad day for that Hebrew foot unit on that extreme right, I've got to say. He's in some trouble. I might try and uh, do a fallback, um, but we'll see. The disrupted troops holding tight. And the arch unit breaking, the uh, irregular foot breaking. Oh, this archers! <laughs> oh, they're having a. I'm having a rough day with their cavalry. Okay, I don't want to fight that impact. I really don't. I'm going to charge them in first. Woohoo! I don't know what a cheer actually does. Please don't die, general. Please don't die. <laughs> Oh no! Unfortunately, <laughs> I shouldn't have charged him in. My general has has died. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Unfortunately, oh that was harsh, harsh. <laughs> giddy, giddy on. Sad day, guys. Sad, sad day. GG. GG is the computer player. <laughs> oh. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, okay. We have probably about half an hour, gents. We're going to do something a little bit crazy. We're going to do something a little bit wild. Uh, we're going to play one small game on deity uh, setting. Uh, <laughs> God, <laughs> that was harsh. Why? Why did you die? Okay, guys, it is the last battle. We are playing on the hardest difficulty. It is going to be a small, a very small game. I need two factions. Two factions, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for me to play. Uh, and then we'll probably wrap it up in half an hour. Uh, I'm trying not to keep this stream longer than two hours. So, gents, I need two factions. We're playing on Deity. Yes, yes, the auger said, yes, it was, somebody was going to win, somebody was going to win, but it wasn't me. Okay, guys, I need two factions on the hardest difficulty for this last half an hour to see if I can pull, pull something out of the bag for this final battle. God, you know what, that was, <laughs> that was harsh, that was harsh. Lydian, Arab, is any anyone more, anyone voting for more? Is that for me to play or for the computer player to play? Uh, I'll let you guys choose. So I can play Lydian. That's not a problem. Um, okay, so we have a choice for me to fight. Greek, Median, Persian, Simeon. Uh, what do you want to face, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, we played Egyptian, sorry, today. Arab me. Hmm. Okay, you've said it. Okay, oh. We've only got Assyrian or Babylon to play. I think um, we'll go Lydian then, guys, and we'll place the Simran uh, Empire. And it's on.
the final showdown is here. Hopefully, guys, the final showdown. Oh, that general dying was a bit of badness. Oh, I can't believe that. That was very embarrassing. <laughs> it was going to happen, though. It was going to charge in in some epic fashion. So, um, we it's a Aegis of Bash, 60% again. Uh, we have one flanking march on the left flank. Oh, the mighty horse archers. Expected. Yeah, we'd have to put a general here. It is truly crazy. So we've got one more general. <laughs> oh, my word. What have we got? Oh, wow. We have a river to the right. So this may divvy the forces up uh, a little bit. <laughs> I'm glad I brought the crack troops to this battlefield. <laughs> Bloody regular foot. <laughs> okay. It's on. It is on, guys. So they are the, the elite forces of the Lydian. I've got to say, guys, Lydian cavalry is awesome. It really is awesome. Uh, every time I fight Lydians, I tremble at their superior cavalry. Lancer, superior, armoured. It is a force to be reckoned with. Their infantry is a load of crap because mostly it consists of irregular foot. And some hopolites, so not all bad, but their uh, cavalry is just immense. And without further ado, let's commence the battle <laughs> against a lot of cavalry. <laughs> Uh, yes, they do. <laughs> uh, we have no um, advantage in staying back in this game. Uh, we are just going to advance. Advance to victory or death. I hope the latter. I, I feel we're going to advance to the right. Uh, the, the plan is to, to box in their cavalry. Box in their cavalry. Uh, their cavalry. Oh, what have they brought? Whoa! They've got the regular foot in the rear. Tremble, tremble. I'll keep. I'll try and keep the. Uh, it's a good idea. I might keep them all just behind because that's where the percentages are up. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's let, let's run you back. Oh. Okay, we're going that side, we're going that side. Okay, let's hold that. We're not going to push any further. Ugh. I think I can catch them on the le on the right side. Oh, the cavalry, it's quite scary. Uh, above average quality. I could try and chase some ca uh, cavalry off the left side uh, to score some early points. Yep, we're going to do that. All right, let's see what they do here. Ha, ah, pixel. Ha. All right, let's uh, weather the archer storm. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll move them there. <laughs> we have so very, very... Limited offensive powers here. I can taste the disruption. Cavalry on the right is now primed to be charged. This is what I want to do on this right. I get what you're saying, Pixel. Monty Python is, is hilarious. I agree. Okay. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to charge here. Are they ran away too far? Okay, we'll charge here. Are they in charge range? No, everybody is like way too far out to charge. Okay. 
This is going to go like a sack of potatoes. They're just too fast. They are too fast to actually catch. Well, I suppose retrospectively. Oh, they stuck around. They stuck around. Uh, so we are going to push up here to be annoying. Uh, we are going to push here. See if they stick around. Oh, absolutely brilliant. They stuck. <gasps> I like that. They've got three units of regular foot coming down from the rear. I think they're malingering in the rear, to be honest with you. Oh, the archer fire. It's horrendous. I should have just uh, moved the... Uh, oh, wow. Is that a pushback? And can they evade? Yes, they can evade. That is annoying. Are you going to flee off? No, of course not. Oh, these guys are going to be hiding all the way. Wow, they actually did well. And that's turn. Now weather the storm of archfire again. Just need one of them units to stick. Oh, the poor Lydian cavalry can't take that amount of shots. And unfortunately, them. Uh... <laughs> I wonder if the computer. I wonder if the computer play. Oh, we. <laughs> wow. What an ass whooping I'm getting here. Oh, my reinforcements! My reinforcements! I'm saved! <laughs> oh, that's... It's a bad day. Come on, you irregular foot. Do some damage. Yes, please. Yes, thank you very much. That is what we're talking about. Unfortunately, these guys are going to lose against the... Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. We want to go to this side, don't we? Just need to survive one or two turns there. We'll charge away. Keep going. We'll charge you all across the map. It's the bad thing. When do they choose not to flee and stay in the combat? What's the percentage? What's the click? What keeps them there? That's the question. I don't. I. I've, I may not. Under, I need to read the mechanics of that game properly. Oh, they're off. <laughs> So, zero, zero, but unfortunately, uh, I'm getting mighty shot up here. You know what? The regular foot are doing some really good damage. The regular foot have done better than the Lydian cavalry. Okay, let's move these out here. And in we go, sir. Oh, we're not close enough, unfortunately. That's it. Run away. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Why did I do that? Even with several units against that one unit there, uh, we are outmatched by that cavalry. Shouldn't have charged the um, 
Should to charge the regular foot in. Yeah, they do. I'm shocked. Shocked. Oh, <laughs> them guys are in some problems. I suppose they're good at flanking force. Any unit can drop, make a drop of cohesion. Uh, so that is a possible. Oh wow, they they're holding like beasts. Rally, rally to me, lads, <coughs> and in we go. We have nothing to lose but our lives. Oh, you are absolutely shenanigan me. How did they take a cohesion test there and lose it? Okay. Beat the light troops. Oh, you're not kidding me. Thank you very much. Uh, and yes, please, sir. Let's charge them in. Oh, they fled. Oh, wow, they are so gone this turn. And the regular foot to the left. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, these guys are going as well. Oh, <laughs> ow. Let's end that there, because that was uh, quite painful, that Lydian cavalry. Might, should have kept them two, uh, two units of Lydian cavalry together to support each other on the running of trying to pin them troops down. Alright, irregular foot, it is entirely up to you. Come on, break that unit. They're going to auto-break because they've lost so many men. And they did. And they rallied again. As true gents. 15% difference. Come on. Wipe the floor with them. Okay. Let's see if we can cause some disruption on these um, irregular foot here with the, um, with the javelin men. Oh, misclicked there. Yeah, of course we want to charge. Come on, break them. And Q, and a four back. All right, guys, let's see if we can pull this out of the bag. All right, cavalry now surrounding. I'm not too sure them hoplites can form square either. Uh, yes, I have a cat, uh, Gizmo, my lucky black cat. I didn't realise you could hear that through the microphone. What's up, Giz? Okay. How'd you get up in the attic? Okay. Let's engage on the front. Oh, 31%. Should have shot them first, but unfortunately, I've done it now. Come on, break and cause some cohesion, please. No, 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 no. These guys are going to auto break soon. Move up here. Shoot some javelins. Okay, they're going to break. They've got 108 strength left. They're off soon. Oh, here come the charge. The impact was actually... Oh, bye. That leading cavalry is still there. Surprisingly. Oh, don't you dare charge me with your light troops. 
Oh, and there goes the Lydian Cavalry and my left flank. Ha! They fled off the field as well. What happened there? I heard a general die. Oh, they're going to be evading all over the shop, they are. No, that's pointless. Why can't I do anything good with them? There we go. I think that was my general who died in that unit after the pursue. Okay, what's a good combat here? 33. Oh, wow. Fortunately, holding firm. Oh, this is going to be over very quickly. <laughs> uh, and that is turn. Wow. Such a small force, you just don't get very much to use. <laughs> That cavalry is going to come up uh, the back end of them irregular fort and just clear them all the way back. Disrupted. Come on. Hold firm. Oh, how they did not drop again. Oh, in we go then. Have a laugh. <laughs> them poor hoplites. Oh, would that be a good. Um, what's the? Uh, what's their? Oh, it's not. It's no point doing that. Indecisive and holding firm. They're off. I think that's game. That's game. They're gonna rub that flank. Messed up. Yes, it does, but it's quite it's quite entertaining to see the computer player just absolutely massacre. That poor Hopperlite unit just getting massacred there. Oh, but regards of that, it's been quite entertaining and quite fun to play. I don't play that setting as much as I, I should. Oh, we did disrupt there, light cavalry. Oh, go on. Hack them up, son. And the cavalry vanishing, the irregular thing. So, unfortunately, um, the, the gods were not favourable in me there. We're going to put the back down to go for the difficulty. Uh, on the hardest seven, we got absolutely ram road there. A total loss of 600 men for them. 2,400 for me. Unfortunately, that is the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Uh, and we've lost there. But GG, folks. It has been uh, an enjoyable stream tonight. Um, probably going to call it there, I think. Um, did fail. So, don't forget to check the Sliverin site out for any of the uh, Rise of Persia DLC. Uh, it's been a fantastic stream. Thank you for everybody for watching. Um, I don't forget to come and check uh, my good old YouTube channel out. Uh, I'm a RTS uh, strategy wargaming um, YouTuber and streamer and tabletop wargamer. So, if you stop by by, have a look at my channel as well. I'd, I'd Really appreciate it. Uh, and hopefully I will see everybody on the next stream, uh, which I'm sure will be very soon. Probably as soon as next week. Um, so there you go, guys. Very enjoyable tonight. Very intense battles. GG all around, folks. GG. Uh, it's been very entertaining. Oh, absolutely tiring there. So thanks for, thanks for supporting this stream. And I'll see everybody on the next battlefield, wherever that may be. Have a good night, folks. And bye-bye.